please put your hands together, give a massive round of applause, Mr. Dan Doherty. The first thing to do is to make the, so we're gonna spice the sausage meat with some ginger, garlic, chili, lots of things like that. But first we're gonna uh, make the, the batter for the onions. Slice the onions very thin, add a good pinch of salt so it softens them a little bit and then we add the spices, garam masala, turmeric, ground ginger, uh, we're going to put ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, gram flour, plain flour, cayenne pepper. So there's a lot of, you know, you're building all these layers of, of um, a flavour. And then we add some water to bind it. Okay, so that's kind of what you're looking for. And then we go on to the, the sausage meat next. So sausage meat, you can make your own, but you can buy perfectly good sausage meat. Diced red chilli. So we've got chili powder in that, but we've got the fresh chili in here. Diced garlic, onion powder, which is quite a nice thing to use in seasonings, in rubs, but also in, in things like this. We'll pop an egg in there as well. And some freshly chopped coriander. Mixing of all the... This is a bit of a wet mix. So we've got the sausage meat. We've got our egg, we just loosely cover that over and we chuck it straight into the flour. So the reason the flour's there is to help the bhaji mix stick to the sausage meat. So this is getting rolled in the flour, that's just to make it, like I say, to make the onions stick to it. You don't want them to fall away and also to create that little barrier between the, the, uh, the bhaji mix and the pork so the pork kind of steams. There we go. So this is the messy bit, okay? Covering me in glory as always. I think that just looks amazing. That's, that's my idea of heaven. Yep. Onions in a deep fat fryer. So I've made a uh, mint and lime yogurt to go with it. So something fresh. We've got all these layers of flavor, the spicing, the chili, the ginger, the garlic, the fact that it's fried, the rich egg yolk. So you want something light to freshen it up. So ultimately this comes out and you, you end up with an egg. You don't want it. So this is not like a traditional one where you want that egg oozing everywhere. You want it to be firm because you're it's one of those things where you're picking it up and it's you know it, it's already you but know it, it's still soft in the middle uh, uh, well yeah i mean it's uh, this is how i think a scotch egg should be yeah. I, I don't i'm not a massive believer of egg yolks squirting out all over the shop so some nice fresh coriander i believe one of our lovely sponsors westlands so that's the scotch egg bhaji hybrid if you sort of want to humor me for a minute it's a, it's a little bit like a could be a breakfast dish so I've gone to South Africa. In this instance, we've got a Chardonnay and Pinot Noir blend, which has just a little more, um, not sweetness, but a little more ripeness in the wine and a little bit of that spice, which should really work. So you've got the freshness uh, of, uh, of great champagne, of sparkling wine, that really crisp acidity that kind of cuts through the, the richness. But you've got the fizz, which is the important bit, that kind of cleanses the palate. I think the staff canteen as a, as a concept is brilliant. It gives uh, lots of chefs in different sort of points in their career, different stages, different ages to connect. You know, it's, it's a brilliant hub that they can share ideas for, look for jobs, whatever, you know, and, and see what other chefs are doing.